So we jumped on a plane um, after I bought the bus. Red roll members, one more Ruby customers. Started documenting everything from there. And it was the coolest trip, like one of the funnest cross country road trips I've ever been on. Just made sure that all the side roads we took were roads that we'd never been on before. The old routes across the U.S. that people used to take before the interstates. Come on, face here. You know what's gonna happen. A first contention. Nothing bad to mention. The idea of losing purpose. Losing what? After getting it back to Park City, um, that's when the, the row work started. So I had to convert the whole bus into a, a tiny home, 76 square feet for you know up to six dudes living in it at one time. So took the seats out, I uh, chopped the back of the bus, and then welded a extension on the back for two snowmobiles to go on. Then we went ahead and installed cabinets and painted the bus. And then I drove up to Bozeman and uh, met up with SES Wraps where they put a bus wrap on with all the sponsor logos and got us ready to hit the road. And... That's a wrap. Right when I thought we were ready, um, we had a major issue come up with the sled deck. So we have a bit of a problem. Uh, the other day when I was driving, I didn't even have snowmobiles on the back at all. I hit a speed bump in a neighborhood that wasn't marked and the whole back of the bus came up, came back down, and when it did, it tweaked the chassis of the bus. So as you can see, the whole sled deck is now leaning that way. And if I don't get it fixed, I don't even know how to fix it at this point. But if we don't get it fixed, there's no way we can hit the road. We learned afterwards that GMC put a half ton frame on this one ton vehicle and that's what bent. We didn't necessarily do anything wrong. The engineer we talked to said, yeah, you're fine with adding that much on after you took, you know, half of that off. But we found somebody to help us rebuild the whole thing and essentially we had to cut off the, the original sled deck and start all over again from scratch before we could hit the road. Loading Ryan up. Colorado bound. When we got to Colorado, we picked up our, our filmer Brian and uh, our other pro snowboard Jacob Carey and headed to Steamboat Springs for uh, the first night to kind of test it out in the bus and try to get out and ride a little bit. And it was entertaining. Like the first night, we rolled out all the cots and I had never tested it with four dudes in there at one time. And the noses of the guys on the bottom were touching the butts of the dudes up top. We're doing this for four months, and this is night one. <laughs> With us being in the backcountry so much, snowmobiling is the the number one tool to get out there. And Brian and Ryan had never owned snowmobiles before. They had just doubled with us. So they had their own sleds this year and we had to basically take a day with them and teach them how to ride their snowmobiles, which is pretty hilarious. Unfortunately, the snow at Steamboat Springs was just, it was bunk. And uh, we talked to our buddy Mike Hood, who lives in uh, Avon, Colorado, and he said Vell Pass was, was going off right now. So we decided to pack up and hit the road, go meet him. 
I'm a hillbilly that likes to snowboard. Come on, face it. You know what's gonna happen. Our first is good intentions. Nothing bad.